hello to all of you so in the previous lecture we started a new chapter or new module that called distribution work so in distribution work we discussed or we studied about canal clear so in previous lecture we discussed classification of canal so there are different types of classifications according to their work according to their functions according to their discharge clear so in this section in this session we discussed canal alignment so what is the alignment alignment means the center line pass through the ground that called canal alignment means canal alignment means center line of the canal on the ground known as a canal alignment clear it covers entire area with shortest possible line means uh, we have a gujarat clear we live in gujarat so the narmada canal pass through at that location that it cover most of the entire area so that called canal alignment clear so how can you uh, what is the main purpose of to design canal alignment if canal alignment is good clear if canal alignment is proper so the cost of cross drainage work which is minimum clear so please remember that what is the cross drainage work we will discuss in next session done and according to that alignment there are three types of canal or may be classified as first one contour canal second one watershed otherwise we can say the ridge canal and the third one side slope canal so first what is a contour canal so like this this is a contour canal clear so which is aligned parallel to the contour line or contour of the area but it irrigate only one side otherwise we can say the single bank canal clear as one banks of the higher side and double bank canal single bank canal means the cultivable area lies on the one side at one of the bank or higher side like this in the second uh, figure we can easily second side or second bank which is a uh, which a mountain is provided clear and then second one double bank canal I mean on both side on both side there are some obstructions like a mountain what are the disadvantages so the main disadvantages means that we get only one side and what is the advantages obviously low initial cost discharge capacity increase as rain water from higher side is collected in the canal. clear so this is your canal which is called contour canal then second one watershed or ridge canal watershed means the alignment of the canal which according to the catchment area or watershed clear that called water or uh, that canal called watershed or ridge canal and the area covers of this canal which is very large and also it irrigate both side and in this type of canal there are no cross drainage work required and also it is a economy economical work canal clear so in my perspective or it is a base canal that called watershed canal or catchment canal then third one last one side slope canal so the canal alignment which is directly perpendicular right angle 90 degree to the contour that called side slope canal and this canal is parallel to the natural drain and also it irrigates only which one side and in this side slope canal the slope is very steep and also there are no cross drainage work required so all in all the base watershed then after side slope and then third one contour clear on both side irrigate by watershed or ridge canal only one side irrigate by side slope or side slope or contour canal clear and there are losses in canal so what is the loss is in canal so obviously if there are water loss in canal so water enter main canal at the head one to the head regulator 
and flows through the branches and water flows and finally reaches the pool. Means water enter the canal by head work, then go to the branches, then go to water courses, and finally reach to the field or land. So in that duration, there are lots of losses in canal and most of the losses in online canal. There are some types, there are canal loss, there are three types in canal system, then in water course in the field. So most of the loss which occurred in canals, that 17.17%, minor distributary and major distributary 8%. So there are two types of losses in canals, seepage loss, evaporation. Here in seepage loss, there are again two portions, absorption and percolation. So there are two losses, absorption and percolation. So what is the evaporation loss? Obviously losses in small percentage. Clear? There are one to total two percent of total loss. So evaporation loss it depends on surface area, humidity, velocity of wind, temperature, depth of water and velocity. And in hot and dry season, the losses increased by 10%. And also it considered with percolation loss. So the next one is absorption loss. So what is the absorption loss? You know that what is the meaning of absorb? Clear? So in this uh, losses, we consider as a water table is below the ground surface and water which is shipped from the channel clear like this so water is seeped through to the ground clear and there are small zone is small zone of complete saturation is formed means the small zone of saturation is created clear around the channel section clear there is a saturated bulk that called saturation zone or small zone Clear? So below the saturation zone, the zone, sorry, below the saturation zone, the zone of partial saturation is created, like that called semi pervious zone. Clear? So the water lost from canal by infiltration in uh, a leak, after that, it trickled through the saturated zone. So absorption depends on seepage head. Here, when the seepage head is high, the absorption loss is very high. And absorption loss depends on head of canal and which type of soil are there. So that called absorption loss. The last one that called percolation loss. So in this section, water table is close to the ground surface. Clear? So the direct flow from the channel to the groundwater reservoir set up and there is zone of continuous saturation from channel to water table that is called percolation loss. Again same percolation loss is depend on seepage head. Same to same thing seepage head depend and type of soil. But all in all percolation is very high as compared to absorption loss. So how many times so percolation loss is equal to 3 into absorption loss. Clear? So there are two loss, uh, there are three losses which are considered in canal loss. The next one, types of channel. So there are different types of channel in this uh, subject. We will discuss and how can you govern by this channel. So first one, quantity of sink and which type of boundary surface are used. So first, based on this irrigation canal may be classified. First one, non alluvial channel. Second one, rigid. And third one, alluvial channel. So what is in non alluvial channel? So the canal is excavated in non alluvial soil like a low, clay, murum, boulder. So that type of canal called non alluvial canal. So in this canal there are no silting problem, no silting problem and no sil non silting velocity is considered. And in this section or in this type of channel the channel section is stable, but in elevation channel, there are no stable section in initial period. The second one, alluvial channel. So that type of channel which excavated in silt. 
or alleles that all alveoles are that boundary of channel is made of shield is known alluvium clear what is the meaning of alluvium the boundary of channel is made of shield that called alluvium when shield content increase velocity is covered sides of again velocity is high so scouring obviously occur but velocity is low so silting will be occur so alluvial channel is designed according to non silting velocity and non scouring velocity please remember that and the last channel that called a rigid channel clear so in this type of channel the sides and bottom are covered with rigid material clear so by this the high velocity will be get and there are no silting problem there are no scouring problem occur so there are the three types of channel we will design in this model clear non alluvial alluvial and rigid clear so in this lecture we discuss sorry in this lecture we discuss about types of losses for first one alignment there are three type uh, alignment means central line a central line pass through the ground so there are three types of canal as per the canal alignment contour side slope and watershed so watershed canal which is irrigate both side but side slope and contour irrigate only one side clear and the watershed alignment is alignment on the water uh, watershed or catchment area and side slope the alignment which is right angle to the contour and for contour line or contour canal which is parallel to the contour area then losses in canal there are three types of loss evaporation percolation and absorption so which one is the higher percolation loss percolation loss is equals to gre greater than three uh, greater than absorption loss so percolation loss is equals to three times absorption loss clear in absorption loss the water table which is below the ground but in percolation the water table which is near the ground please remember that again there are three types of channel channel which is designed on the basic two factors quantity of silt and which type of boundary are there so there are three classification there is three types non alluvial alluvial and rigid done so in this section in this session or uh, in this module we discuss three design first one non alluvial then second one alluvial then third one rigid done thank you thank you for session